Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. So glad you came back to the channel today. In QuickBooks Point of Sale today, we are going to talk about detaching and reattaching QuickBooks accounting. And you might not understand why you would want to do this, but every once in a while, maybe your financial exchange is having some problems. Maybe it's not pushing your sales and transactions over to QuickBooks, or you're getting some weird error message saying that it it can't find or can't open QuickBooks. And so you may want to just kind of reinitiate the connection between QuickBooks point of sale and QuickBooks accounting, which I have open right here. Before we jump into this, I'm gonna have you click on the link down in the description below. Get over to our QuickBooks point of sale Facebook group. You can join up there and ask any question you want about errors or workflows. People such as myself and other point of sale users would be happy to answer your questions. And if you're on YouTube today, don't forget to hit subscribe. So uh, I'm gonna show you real quick here in the Financial Center, you probably just saw it. I am currently connected to this QuickBooks company. It is the QuickBooks company that's open right now in QuickBooks. And so what I'm actually gonna do in QuickBooks accounting is I'm gonna head on the edit menu to preferences and the place right here under general where it says integrated applications this is what controls uh, how outside applications can actually talk to quickbooks accounting you may actually find some extra other applications here <coughs> excuse me uh, i have instant accept hooked up for world pay uh, but right here we can see QuickBooks point of sale. So that means QuickBooks point of sale is currently allowed access and allowed uh, authorization to talk to QuickBooks accounting. <clears throat> now I'm going to go ahead and hit remove. It says, are you sure you want to remove? I'm going to say yes. And now QuickBooks point of sale is totally gone. Uh, you're going to be you're going to want to be hooked into or logged into QuickBooks accounting as the admin user in order to do this, of course. And so I'm going to head back to QuickBooks point of sale. Right now we're in the financial center, which is right here under the financial menu. And it still thinks that it's running normally, but it hasn't tried anything since I've done that. Uh, if I hit update QuickBooks desktop now, it's actually just going to fail. We're going to go to the advanced options. And then I'm going to hit uh, this totally this button that totally has too much text in it. It's for connecting to QuickBooks. I'm going to hit that right now. And I'm going to continue to use the company that I've already specified. And you'll see uh, my QuickBooks down here is flashing orange. So I pop that up and it's asking me once again, just like when we originally set this up, it's saying, do you want to allow this application to read and modify on this company file? I'm gonna say yes, always, always allow access, even if QuickBooks is not running, because we want QuickBooks accounting to just run in the background and not pop up or not have to be open every time you do a financial exchange. And it wants to be sure here, you're gonna hit yes. So I'm gonna hit yes on everything. I'm gonna hit continue and I'm gonna hit done. And it was like asking you a million times, are you sure? So it's, now it's saying congratulations. It's been successfully connected. And I will mention this is actually the same process you might go through if you want to reconnect to a new or different QuickBooks accounting file except you're not gonna say yes, use the same one, you're gonna choose a different one on that previous screen. So I'm gonna immediately exchange data just to make sure that it works correctly. We should see the green bars fly across here because I pretty much had nothing to send. And there you have it, we have detached and reattached the point of sale connection to QuickBooks Accounting. Once in a long while, this will be a troubleshooting step you wanna go through if for some reason point of sale is having a hard time uh, accessing QuickBooks accounting. It just kind of reinvigorates that connection and the rights to do so. So my name's Peter with BlackRock Business. If this was helpful to you, go ahead and hit like down below. If you have any comments or questions that pertain to this video, you can leave those below as well. We'll see you in the group. You have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.